Writers, I'm Tammy. And this is Ranger. And we're here to tell you some exciting news about Writing Camp. You know how Writing Camp, we've been working on these steps for almost a month, 27 days. We've been thinking of something we want to write about. We've been listing all of our ideas. We've been touching and telling and storytelling. And we've been writing and drawing. Well, Ranger, guess what? We're going to start making a different project each week because the most important thing we need to do as writers is make things right ranger we always say what will you make ranger don't eat the post-it and so what we're gonna do is each week we're gonna make something and you can make the same thing i'm making or you can make something different maybe you'll make something and it'll only take a day or two or maybe you'll make something and it'll take a couple of weeks but each week let's make something together okay all right let me show you what i'm gonna make this week and i'll put ranger down all right, Ranger, you take a nap. All right, now we're ready. So this week I decided I am going to write letters. And Mrs. Mark Kells had taught us, unless session 13 of Writing Camp, how to write letters. So I got her chart out and I was like, okay, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write a letter. And so when I write a letter, the first thing I do is I pick someone to write to. And the first one on here, writers, says nursing homes. I've got to tell you about an exciting project. So my friend, Mrs. Narita, created a website and a way for kids and their teachers to write to workers and people living in nursing homes. Because you know right now, writers, people can't visit people that are in nursing homes. And so many of those people are very lonely and we could send letters, we could be helpers, right? Just like the doctors and nurses are being helpers right now and all of the workers in the grocery stores, we could be helpers too, we could write letters. So let me show you the website, it's so exciting. So writers, here's the name of the website. It's called studentssendinglove.com and your teachers can go on this and you can go on this and tell your teachers about it because they're gonna be able to collect letters that we can send to nursing homes in Massachusetts. I'm so excited about this project. And look, Mrs. Narita also put all these templates that you can use, all this paper that you can use and print out if you wanna write a letter that way. So I think this is a great project, so let's get started. Okay, so now in order to write a letter, right? And again, you can write a letter to the nursing home, but let's say, that's not what you wanna do. You can still write a letter. You could write a letter to a friend, to someone even in your house, a family, someone close to you or, or that lives far away. Your teacher would love to get a letter. So would your coach and even a neighbor. You could write a letter and then, and then sneak it over to their house, right? When no one's there so that we're staying far apart. So let's learn like how to write a letter today. And then tomorrow I'll show you my letter and then I'm gonna write another letter because this week is all about letter writing. So step two, write the date on top of the letter, right? And you need to write dear blank. Now for the nursing home, I don't know their name. So I'm going to write dear friend. Let me show you. Here's my letter, right? It says April 20th, 2020. That's the date I'm writing my letter. And I wrote dear friend. And do you see how I put that comma there? Right? That's how you write a greeting to a letter. Then step three. We need to write the body of the letter. We need to tell them who we are and maybe we're gonna tell them things we like to do. Maybe we're gonna tell them a little story um, to cheer people up. Maybe we're gonna describe um, a memory we have, right? We're, we're gonna do all those things in this letter. And then we're gonna sign the letter, which is called a closing. We might write love or your friend or sincerely. And then you're gonna send it. Now, if it's going to the nursing home, that means you'd give it to your teacher, right? So that she can get them on that website. But if it's to someone else, you might mail it. You might take a picture and email it um, or text it. You can get a letter to people in lots of different ways. So let me show you how I started my letter. And then these, I've got some kids examples that I think are gonna be great parts of the body of a letter. So let's try it. So here's the start of my letter. Dear friend, because I'm writing to people at the nursing home, my name is Tammy and I am a teacher, right? I hope you are doing well. Do you see I told them just, just one sentence about myself, right? 
since you can't have visitors right now, I thought you might like to receive a letter. And then I might say something like, right now I'm spending lots of time at home too. I thought I might tell you, share a story with you that I made up. Or I thought I'd love to uh, show you a memory that I'm thinking about right now. So let me show you some examples from kids, okay? This, writers, is a story I got from Lainey and she put it on our Padlet board. And this story is all about an eraser who felt left out. Wouldn't that be a great, like a fiction story you could send to, to someone and make them smile for the day? A story that you wrote? I think that would be such a gift. And you could do just like Lainey. Look how much Lainey wrote, my goodness. That would be perfect in a part of a letter, don't you think? Oh, this student, this student wrote about a memory. He or she, like they won a baseball championship, right? And they were cheering and excited and they were taking pictures. You can picture this memory. You could share a memory with someone. Oh, I love that. Um, and this student loves gymnastics. And look how he or she describes it. I twist, I jump, I run, I dance. And then she tells her future hopes and dreams. I think these would just be so perfect as part of letters, don't you? So I'm gonna start on writing a letter. I'm thinking my letters are gonna be, you know, one or two pages. And then I'm hoping you'll write letters and I'll share them with you. And if you want me to see your letter too, you can put it on Padlet. And I'll put these steps writers right in the bottom of our blog post so you can see those. Okay, happy writing writers.